Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last episode, we talked to some people, did some things, right? <laughs> no, we went through Corypheus' uh, Temple of Dumat and discovered a old magister and crazy shit happened and I, I just don't know what to make of it. Oh, why am I talking to you? <laughs> yeah, maybe. When you have something to say. Uh, cause I'm going Leliana's route. Leliana's route's best route. Alright! Over here. Agnes Dagno was supplied with the remains of exposures to the rifts and the remnants of exposures to the rifts in the fate. She's done something. It is perhaps best to contain her efforts to the Undercroft from now on. <laughs> hey! I bet it was cool. The presence of the Inquisition forces in the College of Major Ma provoked an angry response from Duke Sandfield. Yeah. I'm told this letter to stand off where the Duke's forces threatened to attack, and it was our agent at the College who talked to Mandan. Corbin displayed a level head and sound judgment about things that would normally never ascribe to a dwarven warrior. Maz backed off, and Corbin sent us. Sent to us the artifacts he believes of Inventory may have been after. Cool. Okay, cool. Uh... Let's get Blackwall out of prison. Dang it. Warns me it's gonna take three minutes or three hours. It's gonna do it. Alright. Crestwood has Shut had no up. further trouble with the undead. We're good. After what happened, it will take time for the village to recover. An offer was spread in the right circles. A dozen factions vying for our favor will see the desires of Alright, I'm gonna look at this, just because I'm not ready to do that. I'm s I don't know what would come of me supporting Vivian, and I don't know what she might do to the world. <laughs> Let's be honest. Judgment. Oh, I wanted Leilianus to do that. Leilianus? Is that really what I just said? Leiliana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the conflict among the nobles of the Elysian capital has come to a head. Lady Richelieu has been busy promoting an arranged marriage to solidify the positions of the current players, with considerable status reserved for her as matchmaker. Though the object of preparing a Lord de Rossier with Lady Thibault's daughter Celeste. All who have status enough to speak seem to be in agreement. We have received a number of letters regarding the matter. From Lady Valise Thibault, my daughter will dutifully comply, but I know her feelings. She will speak to no one. I would have you remind her that we are servants of our chosen world, but it serves us well. It is her name that is stabilizing this alliance. It may power that should not be misdirected to mass makers. From Lord Pierrin de, de Rossier. Frankly, I'll be glad when the matter is settled. I've no desire to inconvenience the young Celeste beyond what name sharing Lady Richelieu recommends. This has been a cock up from head to tail. From Jess and Leandre. I pledge to the Inquisition if my dear Celeste is willing to sacrifice to ensure the alliance, then I can only do as much. My name may not be enough for some, but she will have my protection indirectly through service to you. If you are set on the arranged parry, parry no. We truly need this, I suggest. Discreet maneuvers in the free marches. A standard retinue. Plus two. Get the young couple out of range. So... Yeah, so Jessing is who... All right, I'll let Josephine handle that. Yeah, cause she's gonna Let back him, make him back down. All right, now I just need Colin to do something as always. Offer to help on their terms. Letter on dark vellum with obviously dwarven markings. A hole in the surface is precious sky, not our concern, but the thing that did it. If this magister shit really brought on the blight, the dark spawn were no friend of that. Follow these instructions and you'll catch your enemy sleeping. Tell your soldiers not to leave the main tunnel. That's your only warning. Benthus Warhelm 
Kalish Rock. The letter ends with a map to a cave system and the number of troops that can pass. They hold their sacred steer, do what they say, no more no less. Potential relations with the un another dwarven tag would be far more beneficial than a minor strike of the Venatory. At least, some ambassadors with our soldiers. They can have their secrecy. We don't know the threat on the other side of the passage. I'd send double that to even the threat of the Venatory. Okay. Right. Yay, everyone's doing something! There's four seconds left to this. Boom! Rainier was brought to Skyhold Gates under the cover of darkness. Best not to ask how. So, Rainier's here, huh? Completed. Completed. Alright, Leliana, what else am I? I'm gonna have you do this, finally. She is the only one we'll risk. This is us risking the life of what's her bucket. What's her bucket again? Duchess Florian. That crazy Let's bee. Alright, now everyone's do what's this? Inquisitor Lady Jeanette Legasp Gaspe. I don't even know. Offered her assistance in finding Marquise Buffon in the mountains, but her forces proved to be allied with the Marquise. They turned on us in an inopportune moment, and the Grey Wardens took heavy losses fighting them off. After much bloodshed, we have located Marquise Buffon's secret stronghold deep in the Gamma Legion of Peaks. I regret to inform you after the recent actions of your wardens have suffered too many losses to be of any further assistance. God damn it, that's what I was trying to avoid. The last warriors died fighting for the Inquisition in good faith. I have sent their personal effects to Weishaupt. Lieutenant Suzanne Klosek. That sucks, but. But it does suck. Alright. Well, everyone else is busy doing things. And if Rainier's here, I should probably go talk to him before I go to the DLC. <laughs> Maybe? Just Mabe? Mabele? Maybelline? Judge the prisoner. I can't- I wonder who that is. Oh, Jesus. I know Liliana is ready to record it. I already put her on something else. All right, this is gonna be interesting. What if Dagnar has anything to say after that war table mission? Uh oh. For judgment this day, Inquisitor, I must present Captain Tom Rainier, formerly known to us as Warden Black. This is weird. His crimes. Well. You are aware of his crimes. Yeah. The decision of what to do with him is yours. Why? I don't want that. <laughs> Alright. I didn't think this would be easy, but it's harder than I thought. Another thing to regret. Using your ties to the underworld to free me. You're a criminal, same as me. Well, you can't talk me down. I don't care. Used your influence. They'll know the Inquisition is corrupt. Are you fucking with me? Right now, Blackwall? I wish there'd been another way, but my options were limited. You could have left me there. I could have. I accepted my punishment. But I didn't. I was ready for all this to well, end. Well, you're just a sourpuss. Why would you stop it? What becomes of me First now? I'm gonna punch you. Keep him in servitude. The wardens will decide. Once this is over. What does that mean? Does he become a Grey Warden? Someone please tell me. Does that mean he becomes a Grey Warden? I want to know. You're free if you atone. Or do they kill him? <laughs> I'm gonna set him free. He's a dick. You have your freedom. It cannot be as simple as that. It isn't. You're free to attend. Sarah is cool with it. Not the traitor you. She's think the only one that cares. The, you pretended to be. the man I am. I barely know him, but he, I, have a lot to make up for. Okay, stop jangling your chains. If my future is mine, then I pledge it to the Inquisition. I thought we were corrupt. My sword is yours. Okay. If I'd said anything less, would an arrow from the rookery have snuffed me like a candle? No. Take your post, Tom Rainier. Mm. 
What the fuck is his attitude? I don't even want to deal with that right now. <laughs> Man, I was gonna take him on the next mission and now I don't even want it to. Alright, Dagna, do you have anything to Where's my ammo? The consequences of his lie? Hey, Dagna, stop. Thank you for your investment in my investigations, Inquisitor. I've learned something, I think. I What'd you learn? What have you learned? Did you find out about the Fade? I got a scraping that was cleaned off. What? Weird. And the other rift bits, they're weird. It's just... I could have told you that. Answers, Dagna. Miriam and the Fade, late. But dwarves and tranquil, not late. Uh huh. But they work lyrium, so they are. Somehow. There's something there. I was face deep in a rune, and for a moment, I was tall. Really tall. What? And I thought. I thought all the thoughts. <laughs> You thought all the thoughts, huh? What do you mean when you say thought all the thoughts? I don't know. As if for a moment I was around all my people. And my thought was all of theirs. Your thoughts were their thoughts? No, no, my thought was all of our thoughts. Like, parts. Ugh, words are mush. Can you explain? Yes, I'm yes. really, like, I'm what? The stone, is that death? What do you mean really tall? You felt taller. How much taller? Like mountain tall. Or I was the mountain. But I was moving. I, I felt dizzy. You know what I remember? This is weird. Watching a shaper it carved the wall of memory. Except big. Isn't that weird? Maybe there were fumes. <laughs> what's with what's that thing that you're so talking about? Tranquil and dwarves are linked to Lyrium, but also not linked. Like the lyrium needs to flow, but if you're part of it, it takes you with it, so you can't be part of it. Yeah. It makes me sad. I'm not sure why. It seems like we should be part of it, whatever it is. Or maybe we're the ones who make it happen, whatever it is. You have a lot of theories, Dagna. That aren't you have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, Keep at it. Keep investigating, and let me know what you find. I tried to make it happen again, but it wouldn't. And I had a headache. And Coco and a lie down. I'll keep at it. I want Coco. Oh, and I made a rune. It's weird too. Be careful. What rune? Where? I want a rune. Where? Another. Yeah, no. Who am I judging now? Is there someone else I have to judge? Who? I can't remember. I think it's just glitched out. I think it's just glitched out. Oh, I can go give him some artifacts, right? I have to go to the Empress de Lyon for these people, apparently. Uh, but in this episode, like I said, we are going to be starting the DLSC right after I turn whatever I can into black wall. Maybe, maybe I don't have them yet. Maybe I still have to get those too. I don't know. He's probably going to have a cutscene. It's lies, you know. I didn't say anything. He's probably going to be like, bleh. Maybe not. Heard you found something that had to do with wardens. Would have liked to have seen it. Um, excuse you? You were probably in prison because you murdered people and I got you. What is your deal, Blackwall? What do I call you now? How shall I refer to you? Rainier or Blackwall? I've gotten used to Blackwall. No. Perhaps we could treat it as less of a name and more of a title. No. Almost like Inquisitor. Reminds me of what I ought to be. Okay. I guess. Everyone needs something to aspire to. Exactly. I'm glad you understand. All right. I'm mad at you. I'll be right here if you need me. 
It must be really bad if you're like in a romance with him. Uh, I feel bad for those people. I, well, I wonder if it like is really romantic in the end, dog. No, no. I, I, I just don't have that fire to romance Blackwall. <laughs> All right, guys. We did what you know what we can go talk to Colin. I mean, there's never a reason not to. My friend. Yeah. Ethelene. Ethelon. I don't know which one's the guy version. I think it's Lethelene. I don't know. Colin. It's good to see. You. Oh yeah, it's so good. Do you have some time? <laughs> Might as well get one. Normal. Yeah. Something so on my face. <laughs> he doesn't even get to question it that time. Music. Smirk. Wire kissing sounds happening after he walked away. <laughs> oh god, this game, man. All right, DLC, right? That's what we were doing. Stuff. So let's. Now, I knew I was gonna do another playthrough to like romance the Iron Bull, but like, Solus is very intriguing, and I kind of, I don't know why, but I kind of want to romance it in another playthrough. So that means I have to make another elf. Oh yeah. That might happen. <laughs> the Man War Council. Ugh. Let's go. I'm ready. Are y'all ready? I'm ready. It's over here, right? Prospect price. Minimum suggested level. I'm level 20. To Ambassador Josephine Monsilier. Thank you so much for your earlier correspondence. I confess it's been difficult to get those in Orlay to take this discovery seriously. Shut up. Yes, thank you. That was it? That was the whole co Thanks for that, guys. Take this discovery seriously and write a light of recent events. But I'm positive that scouting the Frostback Basin will yield historic discoveries beneficial to both the academic field and the Inquisition. As a staunch supporter, I am honored to be working with such great company on this historic occasion. Yours most sincerely, Professor Bram Kenrick, University of Orlais. The University of Orlais has vouched for Professor Kenrick. If he says there is something worthwhile in the Frostback Basin, we should investigate. Let's go! We've scouted the region and set up camp. Professor Kenrick has the scouts gathering anything they can find. So far, we've unlocked a lot of very old buckles. Wow. Hopefully this yields something more exciting. Anyone who comes here should be ready for hostile wildlife and angry Avar. This place is dangerous. Scout hurry. Avar, huh? Ah. Uh... Blackwall, look at him. He's riding on a f freaking griffin. What? What is that even? Well, now I have to take him. <laughs> I kind of want to take Solus. Yeah, let's take Solus. And... We need a rogue. Sarah, maybe? No, I took Sarah last time. For something. I forget. So, Cole. We haven't taken Cole in a while, right? Confirm! Maybe? We haven't? I don't know. Stuff and things. We can always exchange party members all the time, ever, forever, always. Alright, where are we at? Okay. Gods in doubt. The devil's a promise lost. Archers. Shuffle on the cards. <laughs> Oh, come on, loading screen. Give me some music or something. Something for entertainment. I need it. Plus. Don't just leave me hanging in the darkness and the silence. Thank you. 
There we go. There's some, some. Oh, armaged. Hey, I like this place. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. What's up? Allow me to introduce Professor Bram Kenrick. He's the reason we're out here. A Yo. pleasure to meet you, Your Worship. Hola. Professor Kenrick teaches at the University of Orlais. I came on an exchange program from Starkhaven. Mm -hmm. While in Val Royo, I found something incredible. After 800 years, we may be able to determine the final resting place of the last Inquisitor. Whoa! I did? <laughs> His name is Emeridin? That's pretty cool. I studied him, apparently, off screen, off game, in my own studies. <laughs> the texts say that Inquisitor Emeridin was a dragon. So this approves of my knowledge. Expedition. Yes. Precisely, I see you've read Lautrec's Precursors to the Chapter. I must have. Inquisitor Emeridin <laughs> stepped down shortly before the Navarran Accord brought the Seekers of Truth into the Chantry. He hunted demons, dragons, and dangerous apostates in a time before Templars even existed. I'm all for history. Nice. That means tracking down the equipment of a famous demon hunter. All right. If the last Inquisitor has been missing for 800 years, it's only fitting that today's Inquisition help find He's him. been missing for it? No. scouts have gathered artifacts from I don't the think... They may help us discover what Inquisitor I don't think he's still do. alive. I have news as well. We've encountered hostile Avar to the north. Okay. They call themselves the Jaws of Hakon. Right. There's also an Avar hold to the east. Unlike the Jaws of Hakon, they've been friendly so far. The Jaws of Hakon? They're hostile Avar who attack any Inquisition agents or researchers who get close. Why? We've sent soldiers for defense, but the Hakonites are cunning. Why would you give them a nickname like that? They know the basin better than we do. I'm afraid no. our men will not be able to hold out long. Um, I wanted to chat. I thought we could catch up. Of course. What? How come I ask her about all this stuff now? Where'd you learn to fight? They say you grew up in a village. Where did you learn how to fight? Draw a bow? All that? Here and there. You pick things up as a little dwarf girl in a village filled with piggish Ferelden boys. <laughs> I'm no artist with a blade. I just know what hurts and what takes them down quick. Nice. Bruised a shit or two in my day and a few, you know, other things. Wow. <laughs> and archery. <laughs> So there was a traveling hunter who set me up with my first bow and taught me the basics. Cool. After that, I practiced on my own. <laughs> on squirrels, mostly. Oh, and Heinrich from next door, but only with padded air. Uh, Heinrich. How's your family? I hear you have family in Ferelden. Yes, my mother and father. I insisted they move to Denerim once I signed up with the Inquisition. Uh -huh. Ambassador Montelier tells me I should invite them to Skyhold. She thinks they'd be proud of me. But after Haven, I just can't, you know? It's not that I don't trust you or our soldiers. Oh, it's damn. Just, you think they get attacked to be safe. while they were with us? And if that means they don't get to see things firsthand, that's okay. My mother likes writing letters anyway. Uh-huh. Well. Any thoughts on the Avar? What do you think about the Avar? When I was a little girl, a lady in our village used to tell me Avar tales. Being able to see their lives up close, it's nothing like I thought. Mm -hmm. They're very tall, aren't they? I was considering a proposal for Commander Cullen. Avar allies with dwarven archers astride their shoulders. They'd be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> what'd you think of that dude, Kendrick? Actually, where, I don't know where he went. A bit. He's quite nice, isn't he? And clever. Really loves his books. Uh -huh. I said hello one day while he had his nose buried in a giant tome. His shriek was a winner. Oh, whoa, what is that dude now. doing? Oh, it's too funny. Oh, how about this basin? How do you like the Frostback Basin? It's lovely, isn't it? At least until you step in a pile of bogfish or poo. Ew. The stuff's vile. <laughs> it makes great fuel for starting fires, though. If you can tolerate the smell. Yeah. I might suggest that to the commander. It could be great for sieges. Nice. That's a brilliant idea. I'll endorse it. Wonderful. I'll write it up as soon as I get back to Lol. 
What are your thoughts about our progress against Corypheus? We're getting close. It feels like we're on the right track, doesn't it? Everyone working together against our common goal. It feels good. All right, later. Be careful out there. What is all this stuff? Where does this take me? Okay, first of all. Oh my god. How big is this area? It's not that big. It's not that big, is it? No. It doesn't seem that big. You just go exploring. I don't really know I'm supposed to speak with Professor Ken, right? I guess I could do that while I'm just around the camp here. You must be this way? Yeah? Yeah. What's that? Oh, I see a sack! I'ma loot it! I'ma loot that sack! <laughs> Ooh, stuff. What's this? A neatly penned note. That's fun. I got a note. Oh, another one. Baffled note. And another little lace. Lace Harding, is that what that just said? Is that her first name? That's pretty cool. I like that name. Lace. Property of Colette. Yo, dude, let's look for you. Inquisitor Meredith. Things to read. People to see. What's this? No, I was trying to. God damn it. I mean, Scout Harding has an impressive. Ah, uh, do you like her? Harding's a good scout. If you need something tracked, Scout Harding is your woman. I'm taller than you right if now. Only it were that easy. After 800 years, we can't just look for tracks. Barring enchantment, cloth and leather will have long since rotted away. Only Ew, is this fucking alligator skin or something? Complicating this are recent Bog pieces of skin left behind, and of course, ancient pieces dating back to Tevinter. Fortunately, thanks to some period specific buckling, <laughs> I've been able to track our last inquisitor. <laughs> oh, what's this about Tevinter? You said there were pieces dating back to Tevinter. Yes. While it's rare to see Tevinter ruins so far south, the Imperium once had an outpost of some sort here. I see. They might have built it as a, a ritual site. I'm not sure what military value it could have. In any event, it's muddled up the research slightly, but I've accounted for it. And what is this about the buckling? <laughs> lost me at buckling. Yeah, totally. Oh, is he talking about buckles? Like we were ever reading? Since people started belting on weapons, they've been adding bits. One yeah. piece here has a dragon engraving. With the alloys of the metals used, it's clearly Tevinter. While this one uses a clasp that wasn't invented until the dawn of the Elysian Empire. Oh, that's fascinating. And when it comes to historical <laughs> research, you might say we have to buckle down. <laughs> I should slap you. <laughs> oh, tell me what you found, actually. <laughs> what do you have, Professor? Everything so far points to the shore, not far to the south. There was some sort of battle near the shoreline. They were in a hurry. The scouts reported an island near an Avar fishing. An island, huh? But the Avar won't say much about it. Tell me about that fishing camp. What can you tell me about the Avar fishing camp? Not much. It's the friendly Avar, not these jaws of Hakon barbarians. According to the scouts, they wouldn't say much about the area. Likely a local superstition. Well, there was a battle there. What makes you think the last inquisitor was fighting? There's a clasp here. Because he's an inquisitor. Armor. It's clearly torn. That only happens from a heavy shearing blow, like large claws or an axe. Then there's the dagger. Silverite, with a stylized dragon pommel and an inscription reading Cordillus. Dragon? That dagger had to be a gift from Cordillus Drake. Yeah, I knew That's something. No one would just lose such a thing. All right, well, I'll investigate this island, man. I'll find a way to that island. And Stand it on your books. There. Excellent. I'll continue to study what's been found. With luck, we'll both find some answers. 
Also, one of my research assistants, Colette, was investigating Colette. an old structure to the north. Yeah. I'm not certain it's related to our investigation, but it couldn't hurt to check with her. I... There's more I can talk to you about, but I want to read this. But I don't right now. <laughs> hey, Bram. May I help you, Inquisitor? Um... Um, where are you from? I take it you're not from Ole. Obviously, listen to his accent. <laughs> uh, no, uh, Stark. Oh, duh, duh. Fourth son of Lord and Lady Kenrick, destined for chantry service. Fortunately, I convinced them the university might be. A he said something about Starkhaven earlier, didn't he? How'd you get this job? How were you assigned to the Inquisition? I study primarily the early chantry. Particularly around the signing of the Navarra Nicole. Mm -hmm. That was why I transferred to the University of Orlais, closer to the source than Starkhaven. Naturally. Sadly, most <laughs> scholars took Inquisitor Emeridan's history as settled, even with so many questions. Mm. No one took my ideas seriously until your Inquisition formed. I wrote Ambassador Montelier, and well, here we are. Wow, look at that. Tell me about that university. What's it like at the University of Orlais? Oh, it's brilliant. Some of the greatest minds I've ever known. Cool. The university was always well regarded, but Empress Celine made it the envy of all theaters. She even got them to start admitting elves. Oh, everyone should be allowed. Knowledge knows no bounds and all. With that Dude, I'm an elf. What do you mean it's worth it? Duh. The university is safe as a haven for knowledge. Ooh, okay, let's discuss Meriden. I'd like to discuss Inquisitor Emeridan. Of course, your predecessor. Existing historical records are contentious. Some say he was a devout Andraste. And others? Others suggest he cared little for religion, gaining leadership of the Seekers through Emperor Draken's French. Okay. He disappeared around the time the Seekers of Truth, the original Inquisition, incorporated into the newfound Chantry. Mm. It's not clear why. Why? Some say that he was tired of his responsibilities and wanted one last great dragon. Hell yeah. What's our next step? What do you need me to do next? You told me. I'd still like to find out what's on that island to the southeast. Yeah. We know the Inquisitor was in the area. Lady Harding mentioned Avar in the area who aren't hostile, but they wouldn't speak of the island. They're not hostile? I mean, Scout Harding. Ooh. Until later. Y'all like each other. I don't want to go this way. Hey, Ruth! Coming for you! Oh, look at that bird! It's so pretty! Hey, guys. You guys just standing there? Looking good! <laughs> What's this way? I'm going to find that fade rift, y'all. The basin floor! What's that? What is you? Ever right, huh? How come I can't- oh, there it is. I was like, how come I can't see it yet? I was attacking from the trees. Oh my god, there's a fear demon that's level 20. Can you knock it- knock it off with the spiders? Get up here. I'm not liking that. Nah. No, 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 no. Right, yeah. Oh, I died. I died. I'm Blackwall. Uh, we kind of need the Inquisitor for this. Just saying. Someone should probably go revive her. Maybe it should be our mage. Hey. You don't even dare mess with me right now. I do too. Thank you. Now I need the physical. Oh no! Why are we getting killed right now? Like, what? Just take a favor. We're done with it. Screw y'all. Where's Cole at? Right here, huh? Get up, Cole. Mm. The fear demons are messing with me. Mm. 
Oh god, I'm down again. Paul, good job. Can you get me up though? I don't know how to play some really. I will learn one day. Someone's still alive? Like, what are you doing? Solace, you're hitting a tree. You are hitting a tree with your magic. Let's close this fade rift and be done with it. Black all needs to level. That makes sense. What the fuck? Why is there all this shit in here? That was a lot of loot from one fade rift, yo. Like, whoa, what are you? A tusket! What are you? What are you? <laughs> I wanted to learn about it, but it didn't give me a codex. We're messing with it. What is this? Is there anything here? No. Okay. What's that? Is that a dinosaur? Those look like dinosaurs. What is that? A lurker? Nah. What's this? What are you? Silverite, huh? I acquired three silverite. Alright, I'm gonna level up black wall. Oh my gosh. My arm is killing me. Oh, this is not black. Oh, this is black. Wall. Battle map. Wait. Champion is what I want. Resilience. Stun chance. Armor bonus. Do it. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna need it the way we're handling this map so far. Larker! Lark this! They're not even coming after us. They're running away from us. Um, I don't think that makes sense. That's a big one. Oh, it's fade touched. Why is it fade touched? That doesn't make sense. Why? Maybe it does make sense, but I don't want it to. <laughs> He's a boss. He's a level ahead of us. What was that? Oh god. Oh god. I'm frozen. That was crazy. Cole, no! Someone yelled your name, and I think it was Blackwall. <laughs> Take some fade. Where is Cole? Is he trying to backstab? It didn't work. Alright, you got it, Cole. You're fine. I don't want that. Wait, what does that do again? Oh, Solace, we don't need a double rift thing. that dude just wandering over there in the back? Is that an Inquisition Scout that's not helping us right now? That's just boring. I'm your Inquisitor. Oh, he is helping us. What a nice guy. I really appreciate him. And everything he's doing for the Inquisition. <laughs> Do. Did we get it? A unique animal. Certainly unlike others in the base. You don't it often say. The veil is thin. Many creatures avoid such places. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad for that. What's this? Why? 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 Why is there a veil fire there? What am I veil firing? Hello? Huh. 
Where am I veil firing? Let's zoom in up. Alright, well, probably not anything over here. Oh, Solus needs a level now? What? You picky bitch. What's this? What is this? Oh my god! Why are we getting all this crazy stuff, guys? I'm glad I came here. <laughs> Ever right! What do I do with this veil fire, though? I want to know. I need to know. Bellfire. Give me a sign. No? Okay. Well, what the hell? Why would they put Bellfire there and then nothing to do with it? It's just it's just like what happened back at the Emerald Graves. What, can they all level up now? Who are you people? Leveling up in my game. I'm trying to make sure I get everything that I can. Alright, that just goes back to my camp, so. We're clearing some areas pretty good here. Ah, oh, this is so cool. It's so pretty. Another tusk kit over there. I dropped my bale fire because I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. I didn't want to attack us. I just, I just did my thing, and that's why. What's up in here? Nothing. It's just a abandoned ass house. What about up here? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. What's up? Lurker scales. We're gonna have some new crafting materials. This is... Oh my god, Blackwell, you scared me. So right. Is that a cave or no? I don't think this is a cave. You are not a cave. Who are you? Well, is this a cave? No, it's just a little under thing, underpass, overpass thing. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll pick back up here in the Jaws of Hakon DLC in the Frostback Basin. Right? That's where we're at. Look at that colorful bird! Oh, look at the water! Three out of 22 regions, huh? Are those my friends? Let's go say hi. Oh, they're not my friends. Oh, that's not my friends. It's fine. But they're fighting my friends. Hey, spider. No. Stop it. Stop, spider. Oh, no. My friends are getting attacked down here, too. No. My friends. Oh, those are not my friends. Those are hacking knights. No, don't kill the Inquisitor. Oh, how dare you come up behind me like that, you rude. No. 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 Get out of here, you spy. How dare you spy on me. Bow. I just wanted to come check out this pretty river and help my friends. You get attacked by spiders, you know, I was gonna the video. I mean, hack a night, people come up. Start messing with my emotions. <laughs> Alright. Is it possible to get rid of this guy any faster? Oh, he went into the middle of the air, right? Come on out. Oh, another spider. Does it ever end? Yeah, is everyone good? Is that fun? Are we all good here? 
Why do you have a health bar and no one else does? Are you important? Why are you camped on Poison Spider Avenue? Oh well. I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!